Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be walking you through the Treadwell method of making sure that student grades display correctly on transcript objects uh, within PowerSchool. So this is a PowerSchool administrative um, tutorial that I'm going to be walking you through. Now the first thing that you're going to need in order to do this is access to both DDE and DDA on your server. Um, those are crucial to this part of the setup of the Treadwell method for making sure that things work well. Um, just a little bit of background, the Treadwell method uses the credit type in order to help segregate and um, identify information that will print out on the transcript object report so that you can make sure that things are limited for the term and year that you're looking for. So the first thing you do uh, is actually access DDE. When you're in DDE, you're going to want to do the first thing, which is select your stored grades table or table 31. Once you have the stored grades table selected, uh, go ahead and select all records in the database. And then you're going to begin paring down that database to select only records for the term that you're wanting to look at. Uh, that could be quarter, it could be semester. Now what you're going to do is locate first by term ID and if it's this year, uh, which is the 2014-2015 school year, that's 2400 is the term ID um, or 2401, 2402, etc. I'm also going to locate my stored grades by the stored code, which we use S1 to delineate semester 1. And I'm going to go ahead and locate all records in that table. Now, this is all records district-wide that were stored in that specific time instance, so this year and S1. If I wanted to limit that down by specific school, I can do that by either running this process within the school or by using the school ID selector so that I select um, you know, school 100, 200, 300, etc., depending on what your school ID is for each school. The next thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and switch over to uh, USM or DDA. When you're in DDA, you're going to go ahead and modify records, and you're going to do a very specific command into the credit type field. So go ahead and select credit type. We're going to do a caret up comma. What the caret up does is allows you to keep anything that's currently in the field. Um, and then I'm going to add a couple of designators. One is the year and one is the term. So that will let me in the object report select these. Then uh, go ahead and click modify selected records. I've already done that for this set so um, there's no reason for me to go ahead and select or run this command again. Now you'll have to run this every time you save grades though because the credit type is actually in the historical record for the course so it's going to overwrite every time you do a permanently store grades command so you're going to want to make sure that you know that in advance and are editing this to make sure. And once you have that, you're going to switch over to your object reports and look at the transcript object that you want. What you can do within the transcript object is restrict to specific credit types. So you can see that I've set mine to be 2014-15, quarter one, and S1. What that will do is it will pull based on the credit types that I have already uh, put in and make sure that it just shows uh, reports from that grade. Now the interesting thing about that is it will only show things from this year if you select these designators. So instead of being or needing to set a historic grade level and change that for every report, if you use the Treadwell method you just simply modify your stored grades so that then only those display on your report card. If you have any questions about this method or any of my other tutorials, feel free to either leave a comment on this video, reach out to me directly, or visit me at victorfitzgerald.com. Thanks.